The Rolling Stones with Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and the rest of the guys, they are easily one of the most legendary bands of all time. They have played uh, for in Detroit for years, but one visit is being celebrated thanks to a local hotel. Photojournalist Alex Atwell takes us inside a uniquely Detroit room at Trum Trumbull and Porter in Corktown. Trumbull Porter is Port Town's only hotel, originally built in 1964 and opened as Detroit's first Holiday Inn Hotel. Um, the history's been fun, <laughs> very colorful, unique. So it's it's gone through quite the change recently. Very much so. Yes. <laughs> we finished the $13 million renovation. And what are you guys trying to go for here? Just kind of the art, hipster, nice, cool, funky, unique boutique property. Walking into Suite 132, which is actually back in 1964, the suites that the Rolling Stones stayed in when they came to visit them. Detroit. This suite is amazing. Um, once we came across that article that found out that the Rolling Stones did stay here, um, and then a picture, and kind of just kept digging and digging and digging. It, it's a great story. This is the article that was published. Britain's touring long hairs had 500 screaming girl fans at their Olympia Stadium concert Sunday. Almost more than that was at the property afterwards heading to their rooms. It took the management of the Holiday Inn at 1331 Trumbull until 5 a.m. to clear the hallways. Girls had like taken over the hotel. They did. The general manager at the time had to get multiple security. <laughs> um, they weren't prepared for it, so the Detroit police said had to step in and you know kind of help out with that situation too. Must have been wild, huh? Very. <laughs> I can only imagine. The picture is is of the stones actually sitting on one of the on the bed in there. We had an artist come in, take the picture off of the article go ahead and blow it up onto this wall. We wanted to keep it the whole red and black vibe, go with everything from the, from the Rolling Stones. So with the retro refrigerator, um, the LP player, with of course the Rolling Stones albums available for the guests to play. They had a great following, but not the mega stars. Um, that's why it was very off the wall that all of a sudden fans were coming out of the woodwork to get into the building to see them. And what's your favorite part about this whole thing? This mural. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely love it the true ultimate fan, it's an experience to come in here. Yeah. You stayed in the room that Mick Jagger stayed in. You stayed in the hotel that the Stones stayed in. Well, if you want to check out the hotel room for yourself, Trumbull and Porter is giving away a night in the suite. Ooh, you can find a link to their site by going to the article at clickondetroit.com.